in the new Jabi municipality of the Eastern region, messages centered on hard work, political tolerance, peace and unity. The church services were characterized by long hours of prayers accompanied by worship songs and praises. At the Danwell Methodist Church at Atechem in the Connectional League Council, Vice Chairman who preached the sermon urged Christians to be steadfast, stressing that there will be challenges but they must be overcome. That as long as we continue to depend on the Lord, the good Lord will say it is true and we shall be victorious to the glory of God. Amen. Let us keep on. Standing firm means that the journey will not be smooth. We need to count and trust that he's able to see us through. At the Christian Redemption International Ministry, the congregants prayed for strength and protection in the new year. They symbolically set on fire all the setbacks encountered in the past year and were anointed to serve in the ensuing years. The founder and general overseer, Senior Prophet Bernard Opokunsia, prayed for a more united, peaceful and prosperous nation to set the pace for a steady national development. They should seek God and pray and also the best person must win in all constituencies and everywhere. So we are praying that God will also help Ghana. In 2020, God will just want us to go deeper and uh, have success. At the International Christ City Chapel, Prophet Evans Autry urged Christians to be prayerful for their lives to get better in the new year. At the Eden Revival Church International, the General Overseer, Reverend Ejekum Dramina, declared 2020 the year of doing the impossibility and urged Christians to show gratitude to God and to ask for protection and strength in the new year. The Bishop of the Kufredia Diocese of the Anglican Church, Right Reverend Felix Oday Anansi, advised against the use of foul language and insults in the upcoming electioneering campaigns. Let us see ourselves as one people. Let us see ourselves that it is God who has made it possible for us you know, to live in this country peacefully. So as we approach our electioneering period, let us demonstrate the love and the peace that God has been graciously giving to this nation. We hope that our politicians will not be saying things that will bring divisions, things that will make the nation be torn into chaos.